Hello, doing a uh, contest response to Joe, Mr. Mean Mayo. I can't talk. Mean Mr. Mayo's 500 subs contest. Uh, Joe, congratulations on the 500 subs. I honestly thought you <coughs> had a lot more than that. Um, I really enjoy your videos, and I really appreciate your uh, deep knowledge of the Beatles. Uh, I know your show, your channel is not all about the Beatles, but you do do a lot of Beatles stuff, and uh, I really appreciate it. I uh, learn a lot, and uh, you're just a great addition to the vinyl community, in my opinion. So thank you for doing what you do. Uh, thank you for holding this contest. Um, it's a uh, really some interesting questions that I thought about today while I was at work and came home and decided to make a video. Um, so basically Joe had five questions for us and I'm going to answer all five of them. Uh, even though I just did ten, I'm going to answer all five of them. Um, guilty pleasure. Playing in the background right now. Uh, Bonnie Tyler. Total Eclipse of the Heart. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Uh, I love this song. I love. I've not listened to any of this this album, but um, I love this song. I love this song the first time I ever heard it, like 20 years ago. And um, my God, I I still love it. My affection for this song has only grown with time. Um, I think it's an incredible pop song, and um, it's a truly a guilty pleasure of mine. Um, I just love it. Every time it comes on the radio, I I listen to it. And I bought the vinyl, and uh, I just love the song. I think it's incredible. So there's a guilty pleasure. Um, you also asked us to talk about a song that we really liked, but radio had sort of ruined for us. This song, Radio, didn't really ruin for me. Uh, TV did. A uh, television ad, which is sort of the same thing, I guess. Um, that song, from the great Kiss Soul album, Ace Freely, the song New York Groove. Um, like Total Eclipse of the Heart, sort of a guilty pleasure, man. I love that song. But it's, it's played in so many commercials now, the song New York Groove, and uh, and played in so many movies. I've seen it in a few movies that uh, I just, it's really kind of ruined the song for me because the song is so ridiculously catchy that um, I really dread hearing it because when I hear it it's just going to be stuck in my head for a week. There's a commercial that uses New York Groove and it's just sort of ruined the song for me. Um, I used to just like hearing it on the radio every once in a while. You don't hear it on there too much and now it seems like the song is in a lot of advertising. It's just sort of ruined it for me. So still a great song but just gets stuck in my head. Um, so there you go. Um, you asked us to um, Talk about a band whose greatest hits is enough for us. We don't really need to go deeper into any of the album cuts. For me, uh, this is a band that I really love. Um, love them a whole lot. And that band is Creedence Clearwater Revival. In my opinion, this greatest hits collection right here, it's a really great greatest hits collection. Anthology, it's got 20 tracks on it. It's enough for me. Um, I don't feel like... It's just a really good collection and scope of their career. And I've never really found anything on some, any of the albums, like the, uh, the deeper cuts, that I really felt like I was missing out on with this. Um, John Fogarty is an amazing songwriter, and again, I, I don't dislike the album, it's just I think this is really enough. It's a really good span for me. Um, uh, I never really found a deep cut that I felt like I was missing on this one, so that's enough for me. Um, you asked us to talk about a band that we just don't get, that people seem to love, that we just don't really understand what the uh, the deal is. Uh, this may ruffle some feathers, but uh, I got to keep it real. Don't have I'm showing a lot of CDs. I don't have any of this stuff on vinyl. Um, the Grateful Dead. Uh, I don't get it. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not in any way saying that this is a bad band. I think they're really incredible musicians, obviously. They have a very dedicated following. They have incredible marketing, by the way. Um, but uh, I just do not get it at all. I have tried. I really have. I have seeked out their music. Um, my brother-in-law is a really big deadhead. And uh, he said, you know, you can't listen to the studio albums. 
I started with the greatest hits. He said, you, you know, with the dead, obviously, it's live is uh, is where where it's at. So I listened to you know Europe '72. I listened to a lot of the bootlegs, Dick's picks. I still don't get it. I think they're again they're incredible musicians, but to me, I just don't see what. I understand why there is a, a following like that, where there's an audience for people to follow a band around to listen to long jam music. But even with Fish, I mean, just the whole jam band, widespread panic and everything, I just don't get it. I just pick Grateful Dead because they're sort of their, the forebears of that. Um, I appreciate a good jam as much as the next guy, but listening to three hours of that, uh, and, and specifically the vocals, I just don't like them. I don't like the vocals on any Grateful Dead song I've ever heard. It's very thin, very nasally. Um, I don't know. That's me. I don't get it. But if you do get it, that's fine. I mean, I'm not saying they're bad or they suck. They're obviously very talented and very good, or they would not have had this uh, big of a lasting, you know, longevity. I just don't get it. And lastly, you said, which I thought this was kind of cool, is there anything that we do to prep ourselves for um, for videos? Um, not really, obviously. <laughs> you know, I'm not... I don't dress up too much or anything like that. Uh, I, I do. I, I am getting to a point where I'm losing my hair in life. So several times in the video, I'll find myself making sure that my comb over is intact. <laughs> so that that's really the only thing is, you know, make sure, make sure that's intact. Um, I'm getting at a point where I'm going to have to make a decision whether to just shave it bald or uh, keep it. Um, I, I'm afraid if I shave my head bald, I'll just look like a giant baby. So I'm kind of trying to hold on to this as long as I can. I don't think I'm going to go with the horseshoe. Like, if I go with the horseshoe, I'll probably just shave it all. But uh, that's the only thing is, like, uh, if I'm making my videos and I look over and it's like, hair is falling down, I try to try to salvage it. Um, by the way, I have a very self-deprecating sense of humor, not getting too much off talk. But when I say stuff like this, I just like picking fun of myself. I don't have low self-esteem. I'm just having fun and being honest. I think it's funny to laugh at ourselves. Um, so, yeah, I just try to keep my hair over to the side, if anything. <laughs> so, anyway, um, Joe, I wish you all the success in the world. Congratulations on the 500 subs. Keep making videos. Uh, keep talking about what you love. Uh, I find it I find it fascinating. I like, I like watching your stuff. And uh, so there you go. Thank you.